This is the beautiful Jurassic Coast in Charmouth, Dorset. It's not just great to look at though, there are all kinds of treasures hidden under the surface. A school trip has come to Charmouth to go on an amazing natural history adventure. They're off on a fossil hunt. Right, okay, so, can anybody tell me how old the fossils are here in Charmouth? What do you think? 555, well, maybe some of them were when they died, absolutely. What do you think? Getting closer, a bit older. What do you think? 200 million years old, well done. They're 200 million years old. So that makes them a lot older than your grandpas and your grandmas, doesn't it? I think so. And does anybody know what time period we call that 200 million years ago? It begins with a J. Jura Jurassic, well done. So all the fossils we're going to go and find today are from the Jurassic period. And what do you guys think of when you hear the word Jurassic? Dinosaurs. But actually, Charmouth, where we are today, back in the Jurassic, was a little bit different. We were underwater, okay? So we didn't really have big dinosaurs stomping around the place. So when we go out on the beach today, guys, we are finding the fossils of marine creatures that lived millions of years ago. Before we go though, has anyone heard of Mary Anning? She lived near Charmouth. She lived in Lyme Regis, which is a town we're going to see when we go out on the beach today. And you're going to be fossil hunting on the beach where Mary found her amazing fossils. So when we get outside today, guys, we're taking a five minute walk down to the other end of the beach and when we get there and we say start fossil hunting what do you think your two best tools are to find the fossils not hammers not chisels something else that's much better what do you think eyes number one are your eyes because fossils don't jump up and wave at you and tell you where they are they've been dead millions of years so you need your eyes to be able to spot them what else do you think you need it's on your body Hands, well done. So when we get there and we say start fossil hunting, you need to be down in the beach, eyes down, hands at the ready, moving the stones and the pebbles around to find the fossils. And the first fossil that we're going to look for when we get out on the beach today belongs to this guy here. This fossil, when it was alive, was called a belemnite, and it was a type of squid and it's a relative of squids that we find today and cuttlefish that are in the sea today. So we're looking for this sort of pointy bullet shape or a tube. And these are everywhere, they're all over the beach. So if we can't find one bellum night today, we're gonna give up and go home. And we'll help you, we'll get there and we'll say, look, there's lots of bellum nights in the stones. And you can just pick them up, pop them in your pockets or your bags, and we'll take them away with us. Then, when you've filled your pockets full of 500 vellum nights, we can move on and start to look for some other fossils. It's an ammonite, well done. It's the vellum knight's cousin. And it's also a relative of the modern day Nautilus. Okay, so a Nautilus is a squid with a lovely curly whirly shell as well. And it's that curly whirly shape that we're looking for next. We might find some other things when we're on the beach. So we get fossil wood, we get fossil worms, we get fossil sea urchins. Sometimes if we're lucky, we might get a bone. Okay, so if you think there's anything unusual, you can come and ask a warden. Well, these kids have had a great time fossil hunting on the Jurassic coast, but it doesn't matter where you are. All across the country, you can explore the natural world on your doorstep and go on your own natural history adventure. Thank <laughs> you.